Hi guys and welcome back. So, how can we inflate anything in Blender? To do that, let's take a simple example. Add a text and write anything you want. In the text menu on the right, go to the alignment to place the text at the center of the world origin. Next to the font, and that's optional, go to the font sub-tab to select any of your available fonts. For me, I will go with this one called Agency. You can also go and do your thing with it being italic or bold and control the spacing between the characters on vertical and horizontal extend. We can also add some thickness to it from the geometry tab. So in the extrude section, increase the value a bit depending on your text font, then flip it meaning rotate it on the x-axis by 90. To give the text some roundness, you can use the depth value. Now that we're done, go to Object and convert this to Mesh. However, this way we ended up with crazy topology, so to fix that we need to use the Remesh modifier. Keep in mind if you're using a Mesh directly and not a text, everything we did till now is not needed. Once you add the Remesh to the text, decrease the value until it become readable again. So around 0 0.01 or something around that value, just don't go to much below, that because the vertices number will be insanely high and apply the modifier once you're done. Now to inflate this text and give it somehow a balloon shape, we can go to sculpting, then on the left menu, look for the cloth filter and both the setting on the top bar along with the right menu are the same. So from the right side, change the filter type to inflate, leave everything else on default. Then with the cursor, click and move on the text from left to right and try to do short swipes that gives better results. And here you have it, you can now shade smooth this and maybe give it a level one subsurface modifier. There's also a thing you can do with the filter or in sculpting in general. See if we want to control the filter on a specific area on this text, we can select the area in edit mode. Then once we are on sculpting mode, go to face sets and highlight edit mode selection. We also need the Use Face Sets option on the top right to be turned on, so check the box there, and with this area highlighted, we can put the cursor on it, then swipe from right to left to cave it inside. And that's it. Subscribe if you're still here, and try using this trick in your grandma's next birthday. That must be fun. See you guys next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.